Hey guys, what's up? This is Edwin from AccuDashBerry.com. Just coming to you with a quick video of 10.2.1. Actually, what I want to show you is the Files app, which I was able to get on, and uh, it actually, I was actually able to watch TV finally for my BlackBerry through the Files app, which I got from the Amazon App Store, which exactly it's siloed. So I just want to do, will show you that I do have 10.2.1 on my phone which as you can see this is the picture this is the uh, picture password and uh, as you can see it loads up um, it's uh, so I did all this last night just started playing with the operating system one thing I did notice was the more options you have in the drag down menu which now you can see that you can access your mobile network airplane mode uh, you can actually access uh, what else was it here that wasn't here before flashlight which I will show you that it actually works as you can see I could trigger on and off right from the actual bar itself the brightness it goes right into settings for brightness of course um, another thing I like about the brightness with the you know in your settings with the brightness of course with the display options you actually have something called white balance which can give you a bluish aqua color or you can do it like a sandpaper color basically so if you're reading books I think the sandpaper color will be great for you um, you might not be able to see it uh, let's see you can see it go blue that's the natural color and then you got the sand it looks like a sandpaper color which is good for especially for book reading let's see what else uh, but like I said let's get to the grime I actually have the two files apps here which one comes of course with Verizon then we have the files mobile which gives you the remote access it gives you live TV streaming basically um, <clears throat> so I am already connected to the files basically with my login information so just well you know what let's keep it standing so I can select to see if it allows me to select the TV show then um after this I'll also show you Netflix and show you as you can see here are the channels you know they only have about so as of right now because I'm not connected to my home to my home network basically which is running files I only have certain channels so for right now I got like HGTV I got BBC America Epic which I'm not subscribed to so I won't get that channel DIY um, you know we got CNN here let's go into let's see if we can go into one of these channels uh, let's select DIY and watch here of course you can watch it on your TV but you gotta select if you have a DVR you can record it but I wanna watch it here so and there you go as you can see it's working so there we go so if you're at home you're gonna get more channels if not you're gonna get a specific uh, I think I saw about 12 channels uh, six on each side or four on each side eight to twelve channels um, it's not great but at least you got channels while you're not in your network because you are logged into your account so what I want to do now is go back which we can go back um, so I can show you see as you can see the remote is there but I don't have any you have your options of course your library you could go into your TV listings you can change your channel you can use this as a remote uh, which is great because I don't have to use my Android tablet anymore. And then let's go into my media. No, nope. let's go into the media file, and we're gonna shoot up Netflix. Now HBO to go does not work. I was able to get it all the way to the login screen. I was able to select my provider, which was FiOS. Um, I tried to log in, but the loading it stays in loading. It doesn't go anywhere else. So um, I'm definitely gonna keep playing with HBO to go. Hopefully with the next build that comes out. It can actually get working, but for some reason it wasn't working. So let's try Netflix now. That way I can show you. This is actually Netflix 3.0.2, which is the latest version in the gameplay store, which I was able to download it from. Let's look at all the stores I have. 
I was able to get it from the Apple, uh, the Amazon App Store. But as you can see, I have Aptoid and I have good e-reader App Store as well. Um, I did have other stores on here, but you know, just like uh, Alex said, um, malware and APK files they they go together, and sometimes some of these apps that are in the store might not be from the actual developer might be from somebody else who put it under the app developer's name uh, and I prefer not to do that so I mean Aptoid might be the same way but I've heard good reviews I mean a lot of the apps are there are trusted so well anyway we'll go back uh, I'm actually starting to finish Breaking Bad I'm on season 5 I believe episode 1 uh, which is the one that's loading now and there we go And we got Netflix up and running also, 3.0. So let's go back out. Oh, it just crashed. It, it That's the first time it actually happened to me. Not sure why. Um, but it does work, trust me. I've, I watched the last two episodes of season four. Or oh, I'm up to see. No, I'm up to season five. Yes, I'm up to season five. Uh, I watched the last episode, the last two episodes last night of season four on my phone. Um... Ashfall 8 does not work. I've already tried installing it. Uh, other than that, man, it's being able to install APK files right off the bat without having to convert it to bar files is a great step forward. And um, I hope with the next builds, we can add more. And I just, you know, we just hope that uh, Google can, under can put this device onto their network so we can add the Google Play Store. And we can start downloading official APK files right off the Google Play Store, which I have a bunch of apps that I have, especially for my tablet. But other than that, that's the way it works, man. It's 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 great APK file installing. It's awesome. I love it. Um, and I can't say nothing else, but I'm just glad that I really don't have to convert files anymore. No more having to go into specific websites to convert the bar file, the APK files. Um, you know, not having to do it myself basically through DOS. I can do it, just find the app that I want, purchase it if I want to, or download the free ones. Uh, some don't work, some do work. The app of the day, yesterday and today's is not working, it crashes. But like I said, man, with every build, they're updating the uh, the Android runtime on this. So who knows? You'll never know. But thanks for watching, guys. Uh, come back to see more.